Each year, the nation settles down on a cold winter's night to laugh at a bunch of celebrities having a nightmare of a time deep in the Australian jungle. Thanks for that, I'm a celebrity, but while we love it, sometimes the show falls foul of the viewing public in such a way that fans flock to Ofcom to voice their discontent. Here, we take a look back at some of the most complained about moments since the show began. 1. Fern. McCann's eight-legged dessert series 15, 2, 0, 1, 5, F, O, R, M, E, R. The only way is a star fern headed to the jungle in 2015 and made it all the way to the final three, narrowly losing out on the crown only to George Shelley and eventual winner Vicky Patterson. She did, however, win the contest for the most complained about segment of the series as around 1,500 people complained to Ofcom after Fern ate a live spider we know you was part of the challenge to win Dingo Dollars. After the first 500 came and almost immediately after the scene, the media Watcog confirmed it would assess the complaints and decide whether to take any action against the IV show. In January 2016, the regulator cleared him a celebrity of any wrongdoing saying that the nature of the task was well within what would be expected of the show. Point two. Charlie Brooks misses chance to see her daughter series 12 2 0 1 2 E V E N T U A L winner Charlie, best known for playing Janine Butcher in EastEnders missed the chance to hug her 7-year-old daughter Kiki after their 18 days apart and later told Camp she was heartbroken. Some 66 viewers complained to Ofcom and accused it of exploiting the little girl for a cruel stunt, and although the regulator rejected concerns that Kiki had been distressed by the situation, the Wacog did censure the program for multiple failings after they declared they had serious concerns. Ofcom ruled that it hadn't done enough to assure viewers of Kika's well-being before, during and immediately after the challenge and didn't detail the due care taken in deciding on Kika's participation. Point three. Swearing before the Watershed Series 6, 2006 in a series of strong personalities such as Matt Willis, Millian Class, and Dean Gaffney, it wasn't the bickering but the language that caused viewers to complain. One particular episode in late November aired at 8 p.m. before the watershed, and the media regulator was forced to launch an investigation after 23 viewers objected to the use of words such as bloody, bullshit and bastards. Wrapped for breaching Rule 1.6 which states in any event, frequent use of such language must be avoided before the watershed. The channel explained its editing is done very fast and fed live to a K audience but the Wacog ruled that the use of such words was not justified in context and prohibited before the watershed. Oops.4. Bug Drama Series 16, 2, 0, 1, 6, L, A, S, T, Year's Series was littered with complaints around 51, to be precise, about the use of live and kicking bugs during various Bush Tucker trials. Viewers were increasingly concerned about the use of living species as entertainment in eating trials but Ofcom rejected grounds to investigate because it was in keeping with the well-established format of this reality series and were unlikely to have exceeded the expectations of the audience. Point five. Gillian McKeith, Faint Series 10, 2, 0, 1, 0, A, F, T, E, R, being scared and unhappy with, well, just about everything, Gillian found herself nominated for her seventh consecutive trial, which also happened to be the live one, and appeared to faint just before the start. Although Ofcom never actually did anything, some of the 50 complaints received about the broadcast were about Gillian's so-called deception and also the fact they voted for Gillian to do the live trial, and she had been ruled out. It soon confirmed that it would be refunding viewers who shelled out 50p or multiples thereof to vote for Gillian.6. Beatles scrambling to escape a trial series 16, 2, 0, 1, 6, O, F, C, O, M, never actually revealed whether they received complaints for a particular trial that saw Adam, Thomas and Martin Roberts cram live squirming insects into their mouths, but they definitely received a petition with almost 10,000 names asking the regulator to look at the use of animals in programs. The petition cited the island with bear, grills and name a celebrity in its campaign but shot to prominence after this particular trial. But, as we know, 
Ofcom have previously dismissed all cruelty allegations deeming them expected.7. Gino De Campo kills a rat series 9, 2009 the 2009 Winner and fellow contestant Stuart Manning were wrapped by their spca in New South Wales after they described on screen how they killed a rat for food. The chef told the Bush Telegraph I saw one of these rats running around. I got a knife, I got its throat, I picked it up, which, unsurprisingly, didn't really sit well with viewers who contacted Ofcom, although it's unclear how many complaints were received. While Ofcom decided not to investigate it, the channel were fined just under 1,700 by their spca for not communicating the rules on killing rats and, well, the fact the animal was killed in the first place. Point nine. Martin Roberts Bullying Row Series 16 2016 V I E W E R S of last year's series were left outraged as they had former EastEnders and Gavin and Stacey actor Larry Lamb repeatedly locked in a war of words with Holmes under the hammers Martin Roberts. Fans of the show also blasted eventual winner Scarlett Moffat and broadcaster Danny Baker for what they deemed to be bullying of the daytime television star.8. Animal Groups Blast Stunt Series, 17, 2, 0, 1, 7, A, L, T, H, O, U, G, H, the number of complaints, if any is unclear at the time of writing, animal groups including their cut, have urged viewers to complain to both it and Ofcom about the use of a camel during a task involving Amir Khan. During the latest series, the boxer came facetto face with a camel wearing a wig named Donald Hump prompting outrage from the charity. Ofcom would then decide whether to investigate the show, but, meanwhile, viewers aren't holding back on social media and have blasted several tasks already this year. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, is on it, daily around 9 p.m. Want up tough minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our at Digital Speed Twitter account and you're all set.